Hello everyone. I promised a another flip through the three-tiered book that I I'm calling finished. I I might put a couple more little bits and pieces in, but for the most part it is completely finished. I did sew this book together using a three whole pamphlet stitch and it does have three tiers so it flips and does all kinds of fun stuff. I wanted to use some of my treasured items. I save stuff and I'm always afraid to use things. I wanted to start using my stuff, get over the fear of using stuff. And I wanted it all to be put in a book so that I could enjoy it and flip through it and see it all together. I save my things, a lot of things I save in shoe boxes, some of the smaller little bits and pieces I save in a shoe box. And some of the, my larger things I do put in the plastic sleeve protectors in a binder just to so they don't get bent and wrinkled and creased and whatever. And I get tired of going through those images to to look at stuff that I know that I have. So I'm trying to get myself to use things. And this is my first attempt at using some of my treasures. And I really I like the way it turned out. And I am really happy that I have started using some of my stuff. This is not half of anything that I've saved. I've still got a lot more to use, but it's the start that actually I'm actually using stuff. So I wanted to do a flip through the whole book and tell every little bit that I've used I did make it a point to use as many different kinds of things as possible. I wanted to show how you can do collage without, you know, with whatever you've got and all the different options there are out there. So let's get to it. I'm not sure how long this is going to be, uh, but this is all the little details. And I am having some trouble with my lighting. I, I noticed that it's better when I do the close-ups, so I'm going to leave it as, as is for now so that I can get this video up. So here's my first page. I did the cover with cardboard, and I covered it with this tissue paper that I stamped the circles on. The circle stamp is one of my favorites. It is a Hero Arts stamp. I don't think that they're making it anymore. No one can seem to find it, uh, to buy it. So I've had it for at least 10 years, probably longer, and I used that for the, the cover. I did use a single sheet of cardstock for the pages, and I cut three and a half inches down and folded it in half for each page. So there are I, there are how many pieces of cardstock? I want to say 12 pieces of cardstock that I cut for the pages, and it's the cardstock that I got at uh, Michael's. It's the 65 pound cardstock weight, and that's what I use for my base. So the pages themselves, I did use vintage book pages. This is a vintage dictionary page, a magazine picture, and I did use, you can't really see it, it's embossed, it's a handmade paper. You can see it there. It's got, it's raised a little bit. It's got texture to it, and it's kind of cool to have all this texture in there. I did use uh, a book page that wasn't vintage, it's just a regular book page and another vintage something. I think this one came out of the encyclopedia. Down here I have an illustration from an old book. I took the page out of the book and I really liked that illustration so I just used it with a couple pieces of Japanese book page that I have. I have a book, a Japanese book that I do use the pages for collage. This is a 
security envelope pattern. Let's see if I can not get shadows in there. And a little piece of book page just for the, the words. Passing mood, whim, caprice. And then some vintage music. For this one, I used the index. I think it was from the same book as this. Just a, a back page with, with the index in it. This was a advertisement that I got at some brochure or something. I don't know for sure what it was. And a ticket. This is part of a little piece of I have got I got these quite a long time ago when I was really doing a lot of ATCs and they are ATC collection paper pads memories in the making I got these from a stamp store at least 10 years ago probably more and they were just their ATC size paper pads that you can use for images for for ATCs and I got probably five or six of these pads to, to use and never really liked them very much. So since the pages are exactly three and a half inches and these are exactly three and a half inches, they were really easy to use little bits of these for um, the backgrounds of these pages. So that is what that part is. And there's a lot of that in here. So that's the first one. Let me get the second Here is a magazine page, another brochure. I think this was a travel brochure. Here is, I believe that that is packaging from a stencil that I just really liked it and I thought there's, there's no reason not to use it. Uh, the chair came out of a catalog, a, a decorating catalog, a piece of text I'm not sure exactly where I got that. And this down here is a printout of a letter that my great, great uncle wrote from Norway. Uh, I scanned all of his letters that I had and I just printed that one out so I could use it in collage. And I, I do enjoy using my printouts for things like that. This is the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. It's the original illustration. It is a printout. I did not cut up a book. I used just a, a printout. Another, I think this is a, it's either a dictionary or it's an encyclopedia page. A piece of music again. And this image I got, it was a flyer for a musical or a some kind of play or something it was advertising this Madame Butterfly I believe and I, I like the image so I used that it was just a, a playbill an advertisement this is also from my little ATC pad I liked the, the face the two parts of this face I used two different faces for, for that. It's just a regular magazine picture. This was packaging. I remember this being uh, in the back of some kind of stencil. And this is a piece of scrapbook paper. I think it's scrapbook paper that I had that I used. This is a scan of a postcard, an old vintage postcard that I have. I didn't want to use the postcard, so I did scan it and print it out. And so this is just the printout of that postcard. But you can use old postcards if, if you want. I, I just didn't want to use the original. And this is a piece of magazine and another piece of magazine that I put on top. Here I've got the back of this whole page is a piece of scrapbook paper and I got these stickers. They were three-dimensional stickers 
from Tuesday morning, and I just love this typewriter. It's a plastic, it's a plastic thing, and so I I used that. And this is a label from a bottle, and it is actually upside down. The label goes like that, and I believe it's called Kraken. I didn't drink the stuff, but um, somebody thought that I would like the image, so I took the image off the bottle. But you can see that he's holding the ship, and he that's the way it looked like on the bottle. But I liked him better that way, so i the ship is upside down, but I just like the way it looked better, so it's upside down. Here's another magazine page. I did get, a long time ago, I got these... I, I, what are they? I don't know what they were exactly. I got them such a long time ago. I did get the package from Art Chick Studios. And like I said, this was more than a 10 years ago. And they were labels. I don't, I think that they were vintage, that are really vintage label that, that were sent to me. And they were... I, I think they're real, but I, I I don't know for sure. I really don't. But this is one of those. Some of them were blank like this. These cigar wrappers were in there. And this was just one of those labels that was that were in there that I did cut and, and used a little bit of that. Magazine picture and some more of that Japanese book page. And so the next page, let's see if I can not skip pages here. These pages are pretty thick, so it's pretty easy to, to, to skip pages. This is a printout of one of my great-grandmother's postcards. She had a great postcard collection, and I scanned all her postcards and printed that out so that I could use just the image. And then a book page. It's a fairly new book. More music. I really like the way music looks, and I seem to use that quite a bit. This was an image from a bookmark that I liked. So I used that. And then this is another advertisement. I believe this came out of Stampington and Company, an advertisement for some stamps or it was somebody's artwork or something but I really liked like that little image so she went in here this is another piece of vintage book I got many years ago I was doing some stuff and I did order a package of vintage book pages and so this was in that whole bunch of pages and I wanted to use some of those, and so that is part of that. It is in German, which I thought was really nice. Some washi tape. And this is a printout that I did on a magazine page so that there's there's words on them. I just did a printout of, of some eggs. I cut out some of the eggs and kind of layered them up here to make that page. This was a magazine page. A ticket, a magazine page, and here are some prescriptions. They are vintage, and again, it was about the same time that I got the labels. I also got a package, I think there was five or six of these old prescriptions. And I can't remember the date on them, but they were real. And I've had them forever, not, I'm afraid to use them, afraid to do anything with them. And I decided it was time to use it or get rid of it. I am tired of having all this stuff in shoeboxes for no good reason. I'm not looking at it. I'm not using it. I need to start using this stuff. So that was one of my trying to get, trying to use stuff, trying to get things used up and this is a piece of a magazine here is scrapbook paper on the bottom this is Arabic and I did get a it was instructions in the mail for something I'm not sure what and 
it might have been something to do with taxes. And there was a page with the instructions in uh, all kinds of languages. The whole page was just a couple of sentences in different languages. So I took the Arabic, because Arabic's hard to find. I took the Arabic so I could use that, and I put it in here so I could see it again. And this is a security envelope pattern, one of my favorites. I love this pattern. This guy came off of the kitty chow, my kitty food. He's just, he's all wrinkly, and he got his ear torn off, but I put him in anyway, because he was cute. And I think I got this off of a magazine page or something. This is from a vintage encyclopedia. It is the illustration. There was a bunch of illustrations, and I just, I loved it. I thought it was really cool and wanted to see it again and again. I got this little sticker off a wedding invitation, and it's shiny, and I just stuck it on there. You can see through it. It's gold. So you can use stickers. Next page. Here is, and I'm going to show this one as a double. This is a illustration or um, a picture. I think it's an illustration. It doesn't look like a photograph. It's an illustration. Let's see if I can get it to focus. That I got from an old book. I did get some vellum pieces a long time ago. Like I said, I've been hoarding this stuff forever. I have had these pieces of vellum, and they were all clocks, if I can remember right. And I haven't, this is the first time I've used any of them. So I put it over this book page so that I could see the stuff underneath it. I got some air bubbles in there that I'm upset about because I can't get the air bubbles out. But you can kind of see the page underneath this vellum clock. So I'm, I don't know if I'm going to put anything on top of that because I really like seeing the page underneath there. And she just came from a magazine. Here's another vintage dictionary page. Another piece of my ATC book. Here is store-bought ephemera. I don't know. I don't remember. I think it was Tim Holtz, but I could be wrong. And this is a printout that I just printed out on regular typing paper. And I really liked him, so he had to be in here. And then here is some scrapbook paper, another piece of letter from my great grand uncle. He had such incredible handwriting. It's all in Norwegian. I did scan his letters and then I printed that out so I can use those that image in, in these collages. And this is a piece of magazine and another piece of magazine. I think this was a travel brochure for something. And I liked that a lot. This is a security envelope, magazine page, scrapbook paper, and this is a label. I think it's a copy of a label of some perfume that I bought in Paris. I, I saved the labels, but I'm afraid to use them. I'm still kind of afraid to use them. I did scan them. I do print them out, and then I can use the copies of them and I don't have to worry too much about losing my image forever and ever. So this is a magazine page. It was something about vintage photographs so it kind of fit in really well. It is a vintage photograph but it, it came out of a magazine. This is from an encyclopedia. I just loved the design. So I cut that out because I needed some more something to cover the, the page there. This is a Japanese book page and the bird is actually just a note card. I cut out the bird and I did I did kind of tear off some of the layers of the cardstock there so I could so it wasn't quite so thick. 
and then I stamped images or I stamped the words. I've got a bunch of a word stamps that I used and stamped words over it. Let's see if we can get it in focus. There we go. This one is wrapping paper, some store-bought ephemera, a book page, and a magazine picture. Here is scrapbook paper, dictionary page, and two images from a magazine. And I like the way that the old the scrapbook paper and the magazine pictures, they all they all go together with the vintage stuff. I can mix them up and it doesn't look really horrible. Magazine picture. Uh, there's a little bit of an index underneath. This was a little image that I got from a, a book, a children's book. I just really liked it. And I've had that for a very long time, trying to find just the right thing to use it in. It finally went in here. And this is some of my own photographs that I've printed out on copy paper so that I can use my own photographs in 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 my collage. Here is a magazine picture. I believe this is encyclopedia. This is an vintage encyclopedia. This is a printout of a bingo card and this is actual postage. It was an envelope that got stamped. It went through the mail and there was a stamp here that I think I took off. So there's kind of there was a hole there, and I kind of like the way the eight from the bingo card peeked through that and kind of added a little bit of something to it. But this is the original piece of envelope that I used. Let's see if we can go just a little bit faster. Here's another one of those labels that I bought from Art Chick Studios. It came in this package. So there was a bunch of a bunch of labels. And I like I said, I'm not sure if those were real or, or not, but they were kind of cool. So that's the whole label that I put there. Scrapbook paper, a little bit of music, and this guy came out of a magazine. This is a book page, a magazine picture, and this is a scan of a ticket that I I went to Dickens House in London and that was the ticket. Of course I had to save the tickets and I did scan it and print it out on regular typing paper so I can use that without feeling really guilty. Here is a stamped book page. Love my fish. Magazine picture. Scrapbook paper. And this is an actual embroidery floss wrapper. I do believe it's vintage. It's kind of on the old side. I don't know how vintage it is, but I really liked the looks of it and just put it on there for something different. Here is a page out of a, an old book and magazine pictures on top. Another magazine picture, book page, and this little ticket came from Irina, Irina, from Belarus. She sent me a bunch of, of, of stuff, and I just loved it and knew it had to be included. So that is one of my new treasures that had to go in here because it was so unique and different and neat. Here is, I think this is a dictionary page, a book page. I believe it's a book page. It could be part of encyclopedia, and that is part of the ATC pad that I showed you earlier. Here's some more of the Russian text. She sent me pages of a Russian magazine, and I just love, you know, I don't see Russian text very much, so I had to put that in there. This is a part of a ticket that I picked up off the ground in Miami somewhere. 
and I use that and this is a magazine image the butterflies are from a magazine this is grid paper it came out of some notebook or something some colored book page and that is from a magazine I, I think it was one of those cards that fall out of the magazines and I kind of liked her so I kind of used her another page from an old book and two magazine pages here this one was an image from an advertisement and I really liked it so I did scan that and then printed that out this is a a die cut a friend did a bunch of die cuts for me quite a few years ago and it is a sand dollar you can't really see it there it, you can a little bit it's made from handmade paper and I've got a few of these and I just want to use them I probably should have taken the little the little bits out of there so you could see it a little bit better oh well here is a vintage math book page dictionary a sticker and you can it's one of those see-through stickers so you can kind of see the math the math problems underneath it and a magazine page and this came out of an encyclopedia American auto sales in 1930 I thought that was kind of cool I did cover up I think each automobile was 50,000 cars in that state at the time so I thought that was really neat and the giraffe came out of a catalog I don't remember what it was I think it was just a figurine that they were trying to sell and some book pages here here is a printout of one of my great-grandmother's postcards a magazine page magazine page and some vintage text here is a security envelope with I think that's a magazine page I think that is as well store-bought ephemera and that is the ATC pad stuff here's another one of those pharmacy the doctor the prescriptions and some magazine pages on top of that here's a postage stamp with on this is some of that Russian text that Irene Irena sent me a print out of this palm reading hand and a piece of magazine this is a book page and that is actually a photograph it's a real photograph it's on photograph paper I did use the photo corners for it to put it in there it is this is my great uncle my great great uncle this is the man that wrote the letters that I really like in Norwegian when he was in Norway he would he wrote back to his brothers to America and he had such wonderful handwriting so I have scanned his his letters and that's that's who wrote those wonderful Norwegian letters and here I've got a piece of map I think it's scrapbook paper this is a encyclopedia image and some book page Let's see if I can go a little bit faster we're gonna be here all day another scrapbook paper this was a parking ticket that I scanned and printed out on typing paper I did cut it out and crumpled it up to make it look a little bit more vintage and I think it, it looks almost authentic scrapbook paper her crown and an, a magazine image here's another magazine image I don't remember where I got that but some old time photos 
Here's another one of those labels that I got out of that package. And the back is a piece of ledger paper that Vicki S. sent to do her collage with from 1925. And I just loved it. And I knew that it had to, had to have a little piece of that in, in this book. So that is vintage ledger book page paper. It's part of that, that paper. Just a little bit of it. Here's a magazine page. Some, I think this is encyclopedia paper underneath. And this came out of a book, an old book. I think it's a math book. I think they were trying to, to, to they were t talking something about banking or something. And then I got this, I'm not sure exactly where I got it, what it is. I found it in my vintage stuff. I must have picked it up off the ground. It's a shiny gold thing. And I thought it looked good on the page. So it just kind of got added. Here is another vintage page, book page. And this is a note card that I did cut out and just put on the top there. Dictionary page, handmade. I think this is rice paper, something. It's really thin. I, I think it's rice paper or it's, it's tissue paper like. And this is one of my photographs that I printed out on typing paper to use. This is magazine page, magazine page, and vintage book page, some sort. Uh-oh, I think I skipped page. So we'll, I'll describe this one. I, for some reason, those two pages always want to go together, and they, they turn together for some reason. A ticket, magazine page. This is a printout from the internet. Just really like the way that looked. Magazine page and book page. This is some more of the ATC card, a postage stamp, vintage dictionary. This came from a label from a bottle. I think it was a beer bottle. And that's more of the ATC pad. Over here, we've got a note. This is calendar. This is an image from a calendar from last year. Renoir, I think. Scrapbook paper. Handmade paper again, and magazine image. And this is some painted paper that I had. So I just went ahead and just, there's not very much painted paper in here, but I just like the way it looked, so that went in. And this is some of my photographs. This, I think, was art to borrow. This is from Stampington and & Company, and I do believe that that was an image that they had had in one of their magazines and some book page. This is a magazine and some more of that, that Arabic writing, another little book page bit and some, this is part of the letter from my great, great grandfather. It's not the same. It's a little bit different writing, but it's another scan from, from that. So you've got a lot of pages in here. I think that was halfway through. All right, we're halfway through. Magazine page, and no, actually that came from, from a greeting card. I took the card stock, I took the image off of a greeting card and put it in there. This is from a catalog, vintage dictionary. Here is a magazine page, a magazine page. This was a vintage piece of, you can't, I can hardly see it with this light. It's a vintage, I think it's a, a map of a ship for where the cabins were and stuff. I'm not quite sure. And this is, let's see if I can get the glare off of it. There we go. You kind of see it that way. 
It is handmade paper. It's kind of embossed. It's got texture to it, so you can kind of see the texture. I love this handmade paper, and I'm always, I've got a bunch of it, and I'm always afraid to use it because once I, I haven't found it in a very long time, they're just little pieces that I've got, and I, I'm afraid to use it because I can't find any more. Here is some tissue paper that I stamped. Here's one of my photographs that I printed out in black and white. It's, it is a color picture, but I printed it in black and white. And then that's from a catalog. Magazine picture. I was at the library and they were throwing away their, their cards. And I asked if I could have some, so I took a few. I wish I had taken more. They had a bunch of them there. They were just ripping them in half and throwing them away. Um, so, and that's another thing I'm afraid to use because I don't know if I'm ever going to get these cards ever, ever, ever again. This is a piece of envelope. This is the real envelope with the stamp on it that I put in there and a piece of paper. I don't think it's scrapbook paper, but it is something that like scrapbook paper. Another label from a bottle, a ticket that I got off the ground and vintage book pages. Here are some dress patterns that I put on there. This is a sticker and a magazine page. Down here we've got scrapbook paper. Here's one of my photographs again. This was from a catalog and this came from Stampington and Company. It was advertisements for the stamps and I just, they were white. I put some little, a little bit of ink on them to age them a little bit and put them in there. Magazine page. These are rub-ons, the Tim Holtz rub-ons. I wanted to use use them. I have them and this is the first time I've ever used them. So I am trying to use up stuff. Here's some more collage stuff that I've had forever. Afraid to use it. Don't know why. So I put it in here. This is an encyclopedia or a textbook. I, th I have some textbooks. It could have been from a textbook that I, I cut out. This came from a magazine book page. This came from an encyclopedia. It was James Garfield. It was a portrait of him. I cut him out. Magazine page and a piece of map for the base of that page. So I kind of cut it out so you could see the horses through just for something to put on the page. Did I describe this one? No. Did not describe that one. Music, store-bought ephemera, magazine page. Here's a doily. It has a little bit of texture to it. I did put a little bit of ink on it just to, so it wasn't so white. And a piece of simplicity pattern, the envelope. I cut that out. You know I love numbers, so I had to put some numbers on there. It was size 16. This and I did, I, it probably was this dress pattern. It was the envelope for that dress pattern. And then this is pieces of store-bought ephemera, some book pages, magazine picture. This was the, it's, it's music page. It was the, the title of the music. And this little piece right here is actually chopstick the plat the paper that come the chopsticks come into and you you take your ch chopsticks out of the paper that was what the paper was and I I liked the pattern so I put that in there I find paper everywhere if it's paper I I collect it and I try to use I'm trying to use stuff so here is a vintage math book that somebody else wrote in I thought that was really funny. So, and then this is a stamped image that I stamped on a book page and then cut it out and put it on top. This is 
um, a printout of a postcard. This is an image of an, a magazine image and some of that Russian, I think it's airplane model magazine that Irena sent me and scrapbook paper. Here is, I have an old calligraphy pen. I, I, I don't know how old it is. I don't think it's real old, but it's old enough so it's kind of yellow a little bit. It's a calligraphy pen instructions. So I really like the way that that looks. So I wanted to put that in there. A stamped image, some of the vellum clocks, and these are stickers. Another sticker, a magazine page, a magazine page for that, and that is some of that vintage book page. And here is a printout of an old, I think it's, it's yeah, it's Norwegian. I have a bunch of my great-grandfather's books that he brought with him from Norway, and so I did scan those and print print it. I did print that out so it's not the original but you know you can't you can hardly tell that this is not original this is a printout and this is original and it, they don't seem to clash and that's kind of what I like about it I wanted to use all vintage at first but I I do like mixing them up a little bit just so it gets me over my fear of using stuff Here's a magazine page, a piece of braille. I haven't shown this yet. Let's see if I can get the glare off of it. I got some, I got another, um, some more stuff from, from one of the fibs to do a fibs page. I can't, the, the glare does not want to come off of it. It's just too white. It is braille, but you can kind of see it in the shadow there. It is Braille. She sent some Braille pages to use in her collage. And I haven't shown it yet, so I'm not going to say who it is. Uh, but I did I did borrow a little bit of that because I really wanted... There you go. I really wanted a piece of that in there because I thought that was really cool. And I used to have some Braille. I don't have it anymore. So I just kind of wanted a piece of it in there. And this is a cigar band. Just a label that I wanted to use. Let's see. Vintage page. I did emboss this tree into the book, so it is embossed. And this is a magazine page. Let's see if we can get it focused. There we go. Some Japanese book page, security envelope bit. This is a magazine, and this came out of a magazine too. I don't remember which one, but Breakfast at Tiffany's. This is part of some packaging. I don't remember exactly what kind of packaging. And this is a printout of one of my great-grandmother's postcards. Here's some more packaging. It might be the same. I'm not quite sure. This came out of a catalog. It was actually, his trunk is a handle of a tote, and I really thought it was kind of cool. Another magazine image. I got these a long time ago. It was a sheet of a little, I don't remember what they were for exactly, but they were all this shape. Someone can remind me. Someone, someone say it in the in the chat. Those little, um, they were glass plates that you put images in, and I don't remember what company was selling the page of you know a page or two pages of different images to put into them, and so I had gotten them and I never used them. So here they are. Here's the vintage math book page, a uh, cat. Um, magazine and here is a piece of bus ticket a bus transfer that i found on the on the ground and that is not a printout it's the actual 
it's the actual ticket. Here's a printed image on a security envelope, more of that packaging, scrapbook paper, and a magazine image. Let's see if we can go just a little faster. This is a coaster, and I don't know where I got this coaster, but I thought that was hilarious. In wine, there's truth, and we're going to keep drinking till we find it. I just thought that was really cool. So I put it in here with some book page, magazine page. I think I embossed that image right there. It's a stamped image. I think maybe it, it just might be in stamped. It could be embossed. I can't really tell. Magazine page, magazine page, and scrapbook paper. This one here, this came out of an encyclopedia, and this came out of a magazine. This is a real ticket. I got it out of my, my treasure bin and wanted to use it. And this is actually a real written letter. I found it in, I, I bought a bunch of stamps, postage stamps, and it was in one of the envelopes that had a stamp on it. Just a written letter from somebody that, you know, I have no idea who it was. So it is a written letter. Greg, shorthand page, a ticket or a sticker. This came out of the newspaper. It was an advertisement for a restaurant or a pub or something. And that came from the ATC pad, more ATC pad bits, and magazine pictures. This is a napkin. I printed some numbers on a piece of paper and to make it kind of look like a ticket, but I did just print those on there. A little bird from a magazine. Isn't it cute? I did stamp this sun and the eyes from the sun didn't turn out very well so I put some eyes from a magazine and that's a vintage page, book page. This came from a magazine, part of that label from that pack that I showed you earlier, more vintage page, book pages, vintage book pages. This is a store-bought ephemera and a magazine page. Here's some more of my great-grandfather's Norwegian letters from Norway, written in probably 1911, somewhere around that, that area. A magazine page, music sheet, and this is a printout from the internet. This is a piece of, or an illustration from an old book that I have. Clock came from a magazine, and a magazine, and book pages. We're almost there guys here's some more of that that label that I got from that pack some more of my great-grandfather's handwriting and encyclopedia picture this was a piece of deli paper that came from a restaurant or something and I liked the words so I Took the bread out of the basket and got the deli paper. That's from a magazine. Both of these are magazines. Here is from a book page, magazine page, scrapbook paper. This is actually a printout of one of my ATCs. And I just added that to, to that magazine page, ATC pad, scrapbook paper, book page, magazine. I think it's a travel brochure, part of my great great grand my great uncle's handwriting. One of those skeleton leaves. I have a bunch of these. I never used them. Trying to use stuff up in, in things. I kind of like the way it looks. And this is a that's actually a photograph of my 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 grandmother's cousin. And she is 
I don't remember how old she is now, but she is still around. She, I think she's in her 90s, or maybe 80s. She's, she's up there. She's up there. And I told that one, that's part of the ATC book. And this was a die cut that I got. It's a cork. It's, it's cork. And this is a magazine page, or it, it's actually a printout. And when I was doing this page on stream, they said, put the fish in the birdcage. I don't think they realized how big the fish was. So I wove the fish into the birdcage. And so they made me, they made me glue that in. So that's what that is. It's a die cut with a printout. We are almost there. We are almost there. Okay, so this is a image from a six pack of gumption beer. It came for this whole six pack as the gumption. I had two panels front and back and then the side panels were this, this. And actually this might be the label from the bottle of, of beer, but I, I, I love this guy. So I saved all the images I possibly could for, for him, but this did, it came off of a six pack. I tear them apart and I take the images off if they're any good. Magazine page, vintage book page, some security envelope. I think that's what that is. Here is the little tab from my tea. I, I really thought that was cool and I've had it for a very long time. It's about time I used it. Some Greg shorthand writing and a magazine picture. And I just love that upside down glass with a flower in there. Just as a really cool little detail. Really liked that. Here is a brochure from some kind of, I think it was a bird brochure, travelers, you know, what you can do in the area, magazine and ATC pad, magazine, scrapbook paper. Here's an image that I stamped on a book page, a picture, an old picture. And I don't know where I had that. I've had it for a very long time. So I put the photo corners on it and just put it in there on a book page and magazine page. Here's a printout of one of my great-grandmother's postcards. My great-grandfather had written on, on it. And this is the church that my great-grandfather and great-great-grandfather, they were married in and uh, they were buried there and baptized there and all that good stuff. Magazine page, picture. And we are, we're there, we're at the end. Magazine page, magazine picture, some more of that cal calligraphy page. I did emboss this key so that the owl had some place to sit. And that is washi tape, scrapbook paper, magazine page. This is a printout from an envelope that I've got encyclopedia picture and vintage picture and some of my photograph kind of got bent there so that is the three-tiered book with all the different things that you can collage with inside and I like the fact that I've added vintage stuff and non-vintage new stuff. Let's see if we can get it focused. And I really like the way it turned out. Even though everything is not vintage, it still looks like it all belongs together and I can enjoy it and have it forever and ever and ever. And I don't have to look at all this stuff through the shoebox anymore. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.